<clears throat> Lynn, like, what inspired you to come up with this technique? I was in Holland. Wow. So I went, well, I can teach. And I had an adult beginners in a room without a mirror. And I just, I, I guess, Michelle, I've always had that kind of mind. I just went, what does a body have to learn first? There's no bar to hold on to. We don't have the mirror for referencing. And I worked with all of these adult beginners. And just, it was interesting. I knew that what I had studied in New York, I couldn't just superimpose on those adult beginners because they were beginners, mm -hmm. the class that my body knew. Mm -hmm. So over those four years in Holland, uh, I really developed what would become the basis of what people call silence and technique. Mm -hmm. And um, it was the most important time for me, really an important time because I was away from all of my influences and I went inwards and I just referenced what is our most important source, which is ourselves. Mm -hmm. And luckily I'd had my injuries, I already had knee injuries, I had neck injuries in New York from all those classes where you throw on your head like this. Mm -hmm. I'd already started studying anatomy on my own mm -hmm. and questioning doctors. So that was very much a part of it that no, you know, my knee blew because I was so hyperextended. My knee curved back so much, I dislocated my knee in a class in New York. So all that stuff was in my head when I went to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. The thought of injuries and how I had been injured and how my training had been forced. And in fact, I didn't have that much turnout, but I had been trained to work much more turned out. Mm -hmm. And so that just all was a good coalescing period. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's how it started. So um, could you just talk a little bit about the Simonson technique? I think what makes the Simonson technique different is that it's really geared to the individual and that each teacher is trained to recognize that every person's body is different and unique and to look at each student in terms of a student's individual possibilities but also where the range of motion is and what the limitations might be. And that's the most important thing is that it's for the individual person. It's not asking, you don't come into a class and you are not asked to put your body in a pre-described ideal. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> Love, Love her. Mary yeah, Lynn Simonson. And if I can employ you, go take the class. Thank it's you. It's amazing. Michelle. An amazing Thank technique. You. Thank you.